Okay, just an outline of what we carry in the Black Pelican 1600 case. This is primarily the uh, uh, video monitoring and uh, DVD recorder and a uh, SBS card backup. So the first thing, the main thing we use on shoots will be the OLED Sony uh, 7 inch um, monitor. It's got an integrated stand so it just fits in. There's a bit of a gap at the back here where the back of the stand sits in. When you put it on a on a flat surface, you can just roll roll um, roll this forward so that it sits up a little bit higher on a on a desk for easier easier viewing when you're uh, shooting from the, the camera. This will take um, from the H uh, VR Z5P. You connect HDMI cable out of the camera direct into the monitor for the EX1. Rs, you will use um, either HDMI or you can use SDI in and you've got an SDI through um, if you need to feed it to the AJA uh, or any other device as well as you've got composite and out and audio um, for monitoring there's headphones on the front and a whole lot of dials along on the front. The main one you want to remember is uh, F6 for uh, volume if you want to feedback and switches on the front to select between SDI, HDMI and, uh, and composite and uh, power button. Uh, the manual for that uh, monitor is always kept in the, uh, in the case. Um, the monitor's got a couple of options for power. You can run it with the power pack. They've all got a um, Sony's V mount. Uh, whether it be a battery or the power pack, they mount the same way. So uh, a couple of choices. You can run it off 12 volts if you've got an XLR power pack. Uh, mains, the V just slides onto the uh, onto the back. Make sure you've got the V facing down and those pins at the bottom because that's where the, uh, where the power sits into the bottom there. So I can try and show this uh, clearly. So I have a uh, real good job of this. I'm going to line it up. So that's, uh, that's on. There's a release button here so you just take hold of the power pack or battery at the back, put your thumb and push towards the battery pack and then it just uh, slides off the power pack in, uh, in this case. So on, what we've got in here is the uh, is a set of HDMI cables to connect to the camera. And we've also got a set of uh, the power mains cable so that you just plug um, the mains cable straight into that power pack. If you haven't got mains, again, you can see that hopefully there, you grab hold of it, push this um, there's a lever if I get my thumb out of the way and hopefully see that there's a pretty hard to get the light on it but there is actually a, a little push button that you just squeeze and then up so if you're running on battery again same sort of mount there's a V-lock battery mount so just like that push it down and now the uh, monitor run for uh, I think on the big battery this is a BL65 I don't know I think you get half an hour an hour out of them uh, no, actually you get a long time. This one doesn't, uh, I don't think this takes much power. I haven't looked into all that. But that's a uh, battery. And put the monitor back in the case. The second thing we move on to is if you want or need to do a live DVD record out to give to your client as soon as you finish the shoot. We've got a little Sony portable uh, DVD recorder. So you can take either a DV in direct from a camera or composite video with analog audio um, as inputs from the, uh, from the camera. Um, it's got a little tray that comes out when the power is connected to it. Pops out here, put your DVD power in and I'll go through some of the menu selections uh, shortly on, the, on this. But it's a, a great little device that runs off a little 12 volt uh, adapter. So in terms of the cabling for it for power. We have the little brick uh, power supply with the mains cord that goes with that to plug it into um, mains power and I also have, which stays in this bag, a four pin, a, a, a four pin to four pin fire wire cable so it goes direct from either camera directly into the, uh, the little Sony DVD recorder. Last thing we have in this case at the moment is an SYS card backup device. This is the Sony PXU MS240 
and what it allows you to do is back up the SBIS memory cards from the Sony XD Cam EX cameras. Uh, the ones we have are the EX1Rs. So basically, you can simply insert a uh, card into there. I'll go through some detail uh, with this in a little while. It uh, saves them onto a hard drive. It has a removable 240 gig hard drive. Um, which has got uh, a USB, so you can plug the hard drive directly into a, uh, into a computer and actually edit or transfer your footage uh, directly from that. It's also got a, uh, a DC, DC in. Um, it's got the same brick power supply as the little Sony uh, recorder. Uh, I'll go through the operation of that uh, a little later. Uh, this can run, again it's got a brick power supply I mentioned before, same as the uh, TV recorders kept over in the top left corner here. So I believe that's the same specs as the uh, as the DVD recorder power supply, power cord, and it has a USB cable so that you can connect that internal hard drive directly to the Mac, and bring the footage off if you need to be. Finally, this little device, pretty flexible in the way it handles power too. You can actually run it on the same batteries that run on the uh, EX1R cameras. Um, so you can put a, a battery and have this fully portable backup devices on site without uh, without mains power. So really flexible little box. I'll go through detail in that uh, in a while. The other thing it's got is a cable for the um, to connect this box directly to the EX1R cameras, so that you can actually play back any footage, check that you've backed that up properly. Uh, and play it directly out of this device uh, into the cameras uh, as, as a you know, sort of preview and check that you have actually backed it up. Uh, so it's a very fast way of, of emptying a 32 gig card onto a, onto a hard drive when you're on the road. Uh, and that's about it for the uh, Pelican case uh, that we've got here.